No, 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 no. I didn't want to see that. I did not want to see that. Uh. They probably don't know what that is. They probably have no idea what those are. It's, it's one, two, three. Oh boy. Nah, bro. It doesn't do anything, man. I'm about to say, I can just stop right there and start shooting. There's more, look at how many they got. Oh, down! Get down! Dude, what do you do at this point? That's right in his backyard. Grenades out! Throw them in the vehicle when they're on top of us! No, 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 no. I didn't want to see that. I did not want to see that. Uh. Golly. Jesus Christ. They gotta get it from behind it. Yeah, but it's still taking out a lot of guys. Yep, you got it. There you guys go. Yep, coughing. He's a footman taking out a tank. Oh! Oh, shoot. <gasps> Dude, what great coming work. This shot right here. Dude, the flames are right behind you. Get up and go. I was like, he just got stunned. Dude, he, he was right on that. No, 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 don't shoot. Don't shoot. No, 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 please, please, no, 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 wait, wait, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. No, no. Oh. I can tell you what. If this guy survives, then I'm going to say it's all because of Cat. Because Cat does not play around. Just look at this. These aren't negotiations. This is a dictate. We won't be worse off than we are with this surrender. You are aware this is a total capitulation. 250,000 Americans are landing each month in Europe. All that's left separating us from an armistice is false pride, as I see it. Thanks to you and your commanders, we're here dealing with the mess that has been left by them. I'm happy for you to depart here. It's down to you. Mm. We are remaining here. He knows they lost. Like, he knows it. We have 72 hours left here, gentlemen. And during every minute we waste by talking about it, there dies another soldier. For God's sake, let's make peace. They're trying. At least he's trying, at least. They're losing a lot of men. Golly. Dude, they're coming from everywhere, bro. Like, there's nowhere to hide. Like, you might find, like, a minute of peace like this by accident. But even then, you gotta keep running. Golly. 
God damn, it's so brutal. No. Shut up. Mike, this guy here is going to haunt your dreams forever. That's enough. Gonna try to save him? No, 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 no. Comrade. 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 <laughs> Man. These are heavy movies, dude. Désolé. Je suis désolé. Je suis désolé. Oh, don't do it. Don't look through there. Don't look through there. Don't look through there, dude. That tore me up. That tore me up. My heart still hurts for that, for that, for that scene. From that scene, bro. Golly. This guy is fine, nice and warm, eating. These boys are dying because he's proud. Doesn't mess up the fact that he that they losing. You okay, Mike? <laughs> that was rough. That, that weighed heavy on the heart. I was too late in being born, Brixdorf. It's been 50 years of no war. What is a soldier without war? Is he in a position because of his father, or did he earn that position he's in? Come in. Von Heldorf, how can I help you? Hindenburg. Open it immediately. He urges us to sign. It's over! We're going home! Ah! We're going home! God. <laughs> I have soup here for you. Oh, you brought cutlery? Yes, we brought cutlery as well. There you are. Eat up. Dude, I tell you, we make it back home, we go to party, bro. Oh, oh my 
again. Stop, 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 stop. Jesus Christ. We need help over here. Who made you do that? Why would you? He's bleeding out. God. Golly. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I don't even know if I could see this movie, bro. <laughs> Bro. Dude, we got to do it, bro. I mean, out of respect for what these guys have gone through, man. I mean... Signé. The armistice here signed shall take effect in six hours from now, at the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th month. What are you going to do now? Is he going to attack? The French troops are farting on our position in Latier, and outside there's a train crammed full of horse fuckers who are selling the homeland off. Have them all report here. We're going to sort out this pile of shit! Wow. This is crazy. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Where are you going? Come on, before the bastard wakes up. Where the heck are they going to eat? Yep, more goose? No, don't be dumb. It's the same house? Yep. <laughs> oh my god, I already see it coming, man. Yep, same here. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Regard. C'est très bon. That's a boy. Tu veux? Oh, sh... <laughs> My heart was shrinking the entire time. Dude, he might be wounded for we know. What happened? We he shot leave. the kid? Who fired the shot? A little shit from the farm. Oh, God. Ah. What a mess. Oh, How big is it? I would have stood in front of that truck. I would have stood right in front of it. I'm sure that doesn't feel good. Is he alive? Could have spared yourself the trouble. He's dead. <sighs> Black blood straight to the liver. The organs are poisoned. Impossible. I was, I was just talking to him. He's uh, unconscious. I said it from beginning of the movie. If Cat dies, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> okay, Bob. You're good. You want to be welcomed to soldiers and heroes on your return? For us weaklings and cowards who tuck their tails in when it really start. counted. We're going back. We're going home. Soldiers, we are about to attack them with the utmost force and vehemence. 
We were victorious, onward, with God on our side, as he was with our fathers before us. I'm not going back into battle. The shoes, everybody just shoot into the balcony. What the hell? Is that madness? So this guy, the Punisher, right? <laughs> Frank Castle, is that you? Did this really happen? Like, did they really kind of armistice this and then they went for the attack because of that one guy, that one general over pride? Here, here's them. I'm so stressed out. Like trying to have like I'm just stressed. <laughs> just stressed. Dude, I'm just stressed. He's numb to all this by now. The way he's looking. God damn, bro. I get the last minute of a ceasefire. I can't even tell if this is like, if he's alive or if it's like an out of body experience. God, bro. You, I, have n I care less about this guy. Are you all right, soldier? Yeah. Well then, start gathering, please. Yeah, he saved your life. What a movie, bro. Uh -oh. I am, I am, I am weakened. Dude, I don't have any strength in me, bro. That movie just took everything out of me. I became dull after like every death. Dude, that movie. Was... Guys, this movie is brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. It shows you how ugly warfare, you know, was and probably and most likely still is. Uh, the, this perspective of the, of a German soldier, you know, and you know that that the enthusiasm in the very beginning to go in, that you know, for honor, you know, and it was just, it was just bad. It was just bad. It was just bad all around. You know, not bad. The, not that the movie was bad. The situation where these guys, f f where they found themselves, 
you know, uh, it really is bad. <laughs> you okay? You right, bro? Quick question. Um, so, man, this is just, so like this. The writer of this, like, not lived through this, but he made a fictional character. Basically, everything he went through. So he survived. He must have survived. He wrote the story. He has. Yeah, he's had to survive. This was just brutal. That's it. That was like my only thing. I'm like, I was like, built up for like 30 minutes. Of like, I get to know these characters and just kill them off slowly. I'm like, dude, Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, it, it was like, it was like slowly your soul was re, re ripped out of you. I'm like losing. You know? I'm, I was like, I, I did. I'm like, well, he's going to have to die. Someone's going to have to die. I was like, <laughs> when he was going to look in the thing, I thought like the, the bug was going to be squished. I'm like, I thought, I was like, <laughs> at that point, just squish the bug too. This was rough. I couldn't even sit. Like, I could barely sit through. I was like, dude, I can't even do this. This is crazy. Mm. It, it, it's, it shows you how, again, you know, uh, uh, what these guys went through back in the day. Because uh, I've seen movies. I've seen, like I said, I've seen, uh, uh, I can't even say the name of the movie because right now I'm mentally drained. I'm mentally and, and, and spiritually drained from this movie. But I've definitely seen World War One movies where it's always from our side. It's always been bad. You know what they went through. Uh, seeing it from a German pe- perspective, knowing that we know what what happened, like what the outcome was, it kind of gets you a little bit more upset. The fact that these guys, like what, twenty minutes, thirty minutes before the the, the is saying that you you're gonna hit one last attack. Why? What for? What was the point of that? How many more men died just because you wanted? And that guy's still alive. Well, at, at the end, he was still alive. He was in his house eating his chicken and his quail and drinking his wine and talking about it. He, ah, I'm so mad at that one guy. And these guys, and and we only know the story of these four people, you know, and, and plus Cat. Uh, but everybody else in that in that group, of course, they all they, they, they're all human. They all had their own stories, you know. And it, it, it was brutal from the get go. Brutal towards the end. The ending was, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was expected in a way. You know, because I'm thinking, you know what? I, I, then, I was like, oh, okay. This, everybody's dying. Everybody's dying. It's fictional. Everybody's dying. It's fictional. So Just no, kill the whole dying. cast off. That's that's but, what, that's but Jesus, man. That his death at the end and the stab in the back. I, it, I, I expect it again. I didn't expect Cat's death. But from that kid, that really got me. That got me probably the most. Well, to be honest, all of it got me. You know, uh, uh, but let's go back to the movie. First of all, the movie is beautifully uh, shot. Like the directing of the movie, the shots, the battle scenes, all of it's gorgeous. Oh, top tier. Beautiful. Top tier. Top the, tier. The, the actual viewing, like the actual, like, like the this, scenery. This is a movie theater movie. This, like, yeah, there's a movie theater movie. You could go to the theater and watch yes. it. You know, we could have watched it in, in, in uh, what is that, Dolby, the new Dolby they have up Dolby there. Atmos, yeah. Dolby yeah, like, Atmos, I would have, the, joined, we say new, it. by the way, I think it came out in, like, 2015. You know, um, <laughs> well, I don't know. But the, the, we could have, we could have heard, we could have heard this in surround sound the way we did uh, uh, in, a, in a bigger screen to get the scope of what we, because there were some shots here that were, no, that were big, there were big shots here. That you were looking at the battle, and a lot was going on in those big shots, and you're looking at it, right? And you look at that guy; is small. Now, the scene that killed me was when I, when he stabbed that French guy a couple of times, and he was just, like he wasn't dying. That guy wanted to live, you know. And he was witnessing that at the end, it broke him. He was apologizing and helping him out. That <sighs> uh, uh, these guys are all, you know, like we're pawns in this game. You know, I, I like how it set the story for that, like from the beginning. From the beginning, you were setting that story. Ah, I wonder if that coat was his. Ah, I think it was because I remember it had a hole and she had to sew it up. Oh, it could, uh, it could have been. Could have been his coat. It could have been. So, um, I like that it kind of portrayed that portion of it, like, um, like it was just a well-oiled machine where one soldier dies, another one gets replaced. We use their, uh, what's it called, their clothes or whatever resource they had on them. And we, you know, refurbish it. That's, that's, that, I like that from the beginning of the movie that it kind of just kind of set that tone. I didn't think it was going to go that dark, not going to lie to you. Uh, I don't know what the wolf's meant or the, this fox has meant in the beginning. In the beginning. I'm, try, I'm trying to figure the meaning of that out. So I'm like, I, I like to like figure out the whole meaning. So that was pretty cool though. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but it probably was a piece. Like it was, like, it was like a, it was, it was both parents of the fox plus the two fox babies. Like it was like a family. I don't know. Thing living in peace. I don't know probably. what. I, I don't know who represent it right now. But Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Like I keep yawning because I'm tired. That drained. Yeah, <laughs> living heck out of me. I'm like, I'm yawning. I'm like, dude, I just want to go to bed right Netflix. now. I just want to get out of this. This is Netflix. Uh, this is this has to be German made. Well, I'm gonna think. I'm thinking yeah, it's there, German there's, made. There's dubs. Uh, I might be wrong because you can see when they were talking. That yeah, they were it, was all, it was all from uh, from from the language. Uh, again, the acting was superb. Like uh, these guys, even the voice acting, the voice acting top tier. Yeah, top tier was really good. You, 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 acting, you felt that you felt the the the, the, the stretch. Acting and the way the movie looked was excellent, excellent. Like I have to say, probably one, the highlight. One of the best World War One movies I've seen, you know, and definitely in depth of what's going on. You know, everything that took place. Uh, and you look at this right, and you're like, "This really happened. Like this really happened. This took place." You know, and the millions of people who died, millions of people who died. You know. Uh, um, I don't know, you know. Listen, I, I I do enjoy watching war movies, you know, because it's a, it's a history lesson behind this. You know, you you understand what took place, you respect what took place, and we should definitely never forget our past. You know, um, war is an ugly thing. War is happening right now, and, I, and it's not as again a lot of it probably completely senseless. I, I listen. I I don't think war. I don't think war should ever happen, you know, but and it, this is the world we live in. This is the people we are. Uh, uh, it's just inevitable that, that, that it's going to happen. And, you know, the men who sacrificed so much for what they believed in, for what they were fighting for, you know, they, they, they didn't go in there like it was like an evil situation going on, you know? Um, and... Just had a job to get done? It just, just had to get done, you know? And they were going home. That's what drives me crazy. They were going home. They were there. They were going home. You know, some guys got shot before they even went out. You know, they I'm going home. And just took them out. Yeah. Yeah, very brutal movie. One of the brutal, one of the most brutal movies I think I've ever seen for war. You know, and every bit of it. Every bit of it hurt. Every single bit of it. Um, I wonder... I mean, I'm sure it's very different. Uh, the the version that came out back in black and white, you know. Uh, we should probably give that a watch. I want to kind of see the. I want to see the difference. The difference, right? I want to see right. the difference between the two. Like, I want to see what really they added on. What they, you know, that's what I really want to see. I yeah, I would like to see how, I, how what, what the contrast is. You know. Yeah. Uh, this film, I could, because now with, with what we have today for practical effects and special effects, we can make it a bit more bigger, more the more grand grandeur, you know. Uh, for the movie that came out back then, which I wish I knew what year it came out. I, even, I have no idea. But the thing, by the way, another thing, to think that this happened, and then, what, 10, 15 years afterwards? World, I thought it started World in War II? 1939. Uh, or like 1941. 38, 39, probably, you know. Uh, but still, the thing is, it was, like these guys who survived this were alive to see what were the guys who, who fought here probably fought World War II. You know? Actually... That has to be true because there's a show I'm watching right now where uh, the Pacific, one of the guys in, the, in the, one of the soldiers there, was saying, "Yeah, he for one, he came here to fight in World War Two now." You know, so yeah, it wasn't that long. It wasn't that big of a, of a difference, you know. And again, <laughs> this was brutal. You know, the, the, the friendship, the like you need these guys. These guys were all friends. I don't know if they were schoolmates and whatnot, and it was, and it wasn't like they all died in one shot. They were like slowly being picked off, slowly being picked off. Don't leave me alone, you know. And towards the end, he was by himself. All he had was cat left, you know. And that was it. That was it. At least he he saved that one kid towards the end. That's what that was, you know. Again, but anyway, guys, this was all quiet in the Western Front on Netflix. Just came out recently. Jesus, uh, this was. Something I highly recommend that it's definitely a viewing that people should people should watch this, you know. Um, and and give it a watch, give it a watch, you know. The humanity behind this is important to keep an eye on what, what exactly is going on as a human in this situation, 
you know. Well, uh, guys, listen, this will be on our Patreon, unlimited. What you can see for a little as a dollar, that's that's uh, the, the lowest, the, our lowest tier. It funds my crackers. <laughs> uh, this will help fund our programs, but you, this will be available unedited. Uh, on our Patreon. If you like what we're doing, guys, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we also have merchandise. If you go to our merch store, our link is in the description. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Guys, if you have any thoughts about this particular movie, we'd like to know what you think about this movie. If you've seen it, uh, if you know more about World War One, and we are not aware of it, especially from the German point of view, uh, uh, with all respect of everything that took place, uh, guys, listen. We're our nights. I'm Ray. I'm Michael. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care. Stay safe, guys.